What is a surety bond for a vehicle title and how does it help you get a title for a motor vehicle when you're missing documents? Here's an example of the bonded title process in the state of Colorado. Every state does this a little bit differently, but the details are about the same. Here is the instruction sheet for a bonded title in Colorado. And if you need a surety bond, you can reach us at our website, probonds.com. Uh, we can provide surety bonds for a vehicle title transfer. And in, Pen in uh, Colorado, the bonding procedure is available when ownership documents are not available or incorrect. What is ownership documents? That means a title. If you have a vehicle that you own or you purchase and don't have the proper legal title, the surety bond bonded title process is probably a good solution for you to fix that problem. And the steps are, first, you have to have the vehicle VIN number inspected. They basically have to make sure that the vehicle is not stolen. It doesn't have any liens against it. It's not a salvage. Then you have to fill out a form that's an affidavit saying this is how I obtained the vehicle. This is um, my story about how I purchased it, how I acquired it. Um, anything you know about the prior owners, um, you have to disclose to the DMV. You also have to do a lien search. If there's a lien search on the vehicle, the lien must be released. You can't do a bonded title or any title for that matter on a vehicle if there's a lien until you get a lien release. And getting a lien release from the lien holder, there's a very specific method of doing that. We talk about that in other videos. Uh, but a lien release has to have on it the year, make, model, and VIN uh, and a signature of the lien holder. Next, you have to, this is for a uh, manufactured home that's abandoned. Um, next, you have to purchase a surety bond for the vehicle. And it has to be based on the value of the vehicle from a price guide book, NADA, Kelly Blue Book, Black Book. One of the um, price guides has to determine what the motor vehicle appraiser says that it's worth, either in a book or you can have a dealer write on a letterhead what their value is. Next, you have to complete the bond statement. This is where the surety company signs the bond guaranteeing your title, making sure that the DMV is giving you a title based on just your word that you're the owner without having the prior title. And you have to put on that affidavit mm -hmm why you need a bond, what attempts were made to contact the owner, from who you purchased the vehicle, did you make any efforts to establish a title, are there any liens, is it roadworthy? Um, you have to make some statements of ownership on the guarantee. If it's a salvage, you'll have to say that it's salvage. And then you apply for the title using the same title application process that you would use for a regular title. That's done through the Department of Motor Vehicle in your state, Motor Vehicle Office in your county. And that's step nine, and they issue you a title. Now, that bonded title for a vehicle will reflect on it that it's a bonded title, meaning that it was obtained using a surety bond. And that designation will remain with the vehicle for a certain period of time. Uh, three or five years depending on the state, depending on the value. However, it's a good way to get a title for a vehicle when you're missing the prior ownership documents so that you don't have to be stuck with a car or truck that you can't put in your name just because the seller didn't give you a title or you lost it before you transferred it into your name.